Hey guys, welcome to Tech is Launch. This is our first video and we are very happy to see you all watching our channel. Okay, let's get started. After logging to Azure, click create new resource. Under database, you can choose Redis Cache. Give a unique DNS name. Let's give my test Redis Cache one. You can create this under an existing resource group or create a new resource group. Select a location. Choose the pricing type from the drop down or we can see full pricing details. It is pretty costly, so we have to be careful while choosing the pricing tag. Let's go with the C0 basic, which is the cheapest one. Now we can click the create button to create the Redis cache. Okay, the deployment is successful. We can go to the resource group and see the Redis cache is created. Click the access key. Here is the primary connection string which requires to use in our MVC application. Now create the new MVC application using Visual Studio 2018. Name the new project test rate is cache. Set MVC with the no authentication. Let's add stack exchange or trade is new get in our solution. and the connection string details in the web configuration file. Add a new key value pair.
name it cash collection and get the cash stream from Azure. Take the primary cash string. Save the file. Open the home controller. And remove the about and the contact methods. Also delete the views for index, about and contact. Now come back to home controller and add two parameters. One for connection and one for storing database. Also add system.configuration for reading the config file and stack exchange.radius for reading database. Now we can add a constructor to get the connection from the Azure. Read the connection string from the config file and connect to Redis. Create a new view for index. need a form for post, one text box for command, one text box for setting the messages in Redis cache and one for its name. Next one text box for the name, used for saving message with stored in the Azure. Come back to the controller and post method for index with the For input parameters to read from the view. First connect the Redis cache using get database method. Add condition if the user enters only the command or set string or get string. Now run the application in debug mode. Let's put the breakpoint. First, we'll try with the ping command. Currently, the value is blank. As we ping the command, it executes the first block and that will execute the ping command. And if you see the response, the ping command, it is Pong. We can show it in the browser. Let's try to store some values in the message with the name. We will name the first string as message and the value hello world. Now it executes the second if block in which uh, we send the set string. Once set string command executes, it returns the status either it is stored or not. And the value is stored in the Redis cache corresponding to the name message. Now let's try to retrieve the value using the name message. Obviously, as expected, we go to Hello World. Now 
Now we'll try another key value pair. Message to and hello world. And we got success. Let's retrieve the message to and it returned hello world too. Finally we can try both the values again. First key message and return hello world and second key message to as expected the values hello world too. Okay techies, you can find the source code from the link mentioned below. Please do like and share our video. And of course, please subscribe to our channel for more interesting topics coming up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.